we as Stand Up to Racism recognise the need to make sure that those who are at the forefront of the attacks on this government are actually leading our movement. So, Mariam, over to yourself. Thanks, Nahila. So, um, yeah, as Nahel has introduced me, my name is Mariam Yusuf. I'm a member of Women Asylum Seekers Together, based in Manchester. And this is an organization that uh, consists of women from all backgrounds that are claiming asylum in the UK. And they have suffered violence, uh, domestic violence, persecution, uh, sexual orientation, forced marriage, FGM, name it, <clears throat> all of it. So we, we come together to support one another, first of all, because uh, in our organization, we have women who have lost confidence in themselves and confidence in the system and confidence around them <clears throat> because they don't feel that they fit, although they are suffering what they're trying to rebuild their their confidence back but they don't get that real help around so in our organization we we offer a safe space where they can come and express themselves and befriend one another and through that they build their confidence where they're able to go out and share their stories uh, so that they raise awareness and the public and organizations hear what they are talking about and what they're going through. Uh, and why we do that mostly because of the negative narrative that the media portrays about people seeking asylum in the country. And that in itself really uh, makes it very difficult for uh, people like us to mingle in the community, wherever we go, whether it's in schools or in colleges, at the GPs, in the supermarket, we face that kind of racism racism that you, you don't speak their language, you don't seem to fit, and with the negative narrative, you think that you've come to take from them, and not even understanding why you are here in the first place. You left your home, your country with nothing. We can see life now that is happening in Ukraine, where mothers are forced to carry just a small suitcase with their children. They've left everything behind. That's what happened to other of the women also in my organization. You leave everything from a lovely house, all of a sudden, the next minute, you have nothing. And if people can't understand that, and they see happening in Ukraine, I don't know what they will believe. So in our organization, we raise awareness. And I, for one, I, I wanted to, I'm, I'm an activist, because I, I decided to go out and speak because some of the women are not able, are not very confident, and they don't trust anybody, they've lost trust. So it's, it takes somebody you know, brave to go and speak out there and raise awareness. And in my speaking out, it has helped other women come out also to go share their stories because we believe we are expert by experience. When we share our story firsthand, people believe because we live, we lived it. And um, it's good now we are talking stand up to racism because that is what is affecting us. Although we campaign so much about this system and the hostile environment that is affecting uh, people seeking asylum, and not mostly, not all, often we talk about the racism because we feel sometimes it's 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 become the norm. You know, when you go to the supermarket, somebody uh, uh, you know talks to you uh, or, or insults you, you look the other way because you feel, okay, well, I'm in a foreign country, so maybe this is what I'm, expe I'm expecting. So they make it a normality and they don't talk about it. But now as we, uh, we're having these talks, I think it's something very useful that women can go out there and you know, start sharing their story. They say, actually, I am facing this racism, but I haven't spoken about it. So in a nutshell, um, it's something very nice and I'll, I would like my organization to work with the stand-up racism because this is what we should tackle among, uh, um, alongside the hostile environment that we are uh, encountering. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Mariam. Always, always fantastic to have you on our platforms and speaking so elegantly. 